as you all know, there's a lot of things that's happening, not only in our community, but in our country around police community relations. I am proud to be joined here today by City Council President Loretta Scott, Councilman Adam McFadden, as well as Council Member Matt Hay, the Police Chief Simonelli, as well as the DC, um, who was going to be in charge of the community police relations in a few minutes, City Council President and Council Member McFadden will talk about a proposal he is presenting to City Council regarding the Civilian Review Board. We have been on a mission since I took office to improve the connection between police and the, and the public that they serve. Our police reorganization and the Body Warrant Camera Program are prime examples of that. Our Books and Bears and Courage Out Patrol initiatives are other examples of our police community connection efforts. Still, the issues plaguing cities across America related to the police and community relations continue to show us that we cannot do enough to improve positive engagement between officers and the residents that they serve. I refuse to believe that building a culture of respect and understanding on our streets is unattainable because I believe in both our citizens and in our police department. The public wants to be positively engaged in this effort, and we need to give them an opportunity to do just that. We will do that by engaging our citizens in creating forums where they can openly share their ideas to do what we do best in Rochester, which is working together to overcome our challenges. And we need to also include our police officers in this effort. I'm calling our initiative 90 Days of Community Engagement. I have instructed Chief Simonelli and Deputy Chief of Community Engagement Wayne Harris to spend 60 days engaging the public and actively listening to their ideas, input, and vision to further improve how the department and the public work with interact with and view one another. And as we engage the public, we must also connect with our police officers because building Truly strong relationships can never be just one-sided. Chief Simonelli and Deputy Chief Harris will then take what they have learned through these discussions and draft a strategic plan for improved community relations and engagement as part of this effort within 90 days. The initiative will begin in October. I want to begin the new year of 2017 with a draft plan based on public input as well as our officers' input. Obviously, our community is here to stay, and so is our police department. So it should be equally obvious that we need to work together so we can all be successful. We are one Rochester. Today represents yet another step I am taking to invest in both our residents and our police department, which is all part of our efforts to create a city with safer and more vibrant neighborhoods, more jobs, and better educational opportunities for our children. Now, I'd like Council Member uh, McFadden and City Council President Loretta Scott to talk about their proposal that they will be sending to City Council. I'm honored to stand here today with the Chair of the Public Safety Committee for City Council to pledge our support in moving forward an agenda that we've been working on for a while. Um, Councilmember McFadden and I about yeah, two or three years ago began looking at the civilian review process and worked through an extensive review of that and came up with some positive changes. I think that was a part of the journey and that, that we were on and that we continue to be on to advance the need for trust, transparency, and accountability in police and community relations. So I am uh, proud to turn the mic over to Council Member McFadden to talk about the next step in that journey. Um, <clears throat> when we look to uh, revise this civilian review board, there are a number of things that we, we put in place to help to improve the process, but it did not go far enough. One of the clear things that we heard from the community was that they wanted the Civilian Review Board to provide citizens with subpoena power. We 
will be advancing that uh, as an add-on to the civilian review board process. We're going to do our due diligence to make sure we put together a, pol uh, a process and policies to help to support that initiative. Uh, for us, this is about taking what we have a step further. When we started Civilian Review Board uh, a few decades ago, it was touted as the best around the country. And now we have other Civilian Review Boards in place around the country that have surpassed what it is that we're doing here in Rochester. We want our civilians to feel safe and comfortable in bringing about complaints, and we want them to feel like they do have uh, a, a process that will work in their favor in terms of making sure that their complaint is properly heard and properly investigated. So we will be advancing that, uh, and I'm proud to also have Council Member Matt Hayden who worked on that committee with us a few years ago, and we're gonna continue that work, and we're gonna bring that proposal to the entire council uh, for support. We will answer any questions that you have at this time. This is the same old, same old mayor. Come on now. I've been an activist in this community for over 20 years. My dad, Mario Vara, stood in this very building, in this very atrium upstairs, speaking out on the need with the late Ray, uh, great Reverend uh, Graves, Raymond Graves, on the need for a civilian review board, a true civilian review board with teeth, with subpoena power, with no biases. And we're still talking that more than a, more than a quarter century later, Mayor, really. When are you, as a black woman, the first black woman mayor, the second African American elected to the city of Rochester, when are you gonna stop the BS and stop turning your back on your own minority culture, African Americans and Latinos in the city who continue to be abused by rogue cops? Well, thank you. But isn't it true that you've been pretty silent, man, over the years, and now with a little bit more than a year left in office, you're ramping up to get the votes, especially with the word on the street, Jim Shepard may be making a run for the primary. Isn't it true that for the, for the majority of your term, you've been silent, man, yes or no? But yes or no? Yes or no, man? I think that I have done a great job of going back. The black community and the Latino community knows different, man. Well, then the next year they will have their say. They will. They absolutely they will. will. The yes, ma'am. They, they will. They will be able to have their say. Yes, ma'am. We will continue. They we will, we will, will continue. It's okay. It's okay. It, hold on one second. Let me answer this gentleman's question. Sure. We will continue to do what we need to do as a community to move our community forward. And part of doing that has been to first reorganize the police department and go to a five section model. Second, we went to body camera. Which clearly didn't work. We went to body cameras. Third, we're now looking at other ways in which we can engage the public and engage the police department, and also the civilian review process. What about the body so cameras? What about down. the president of so your sir, union? You what go. about the president of the RPD union saying they're the least, sir, they're the least favorable and they're only used by three departments and they don't work? What about that, Mayor? Any comment? Do you have a question? Any comment on the body cameras? Sorry. 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 This may for Councilman McFadden. I was just, uh, sorry. The, the process, the subpoena process, Practically, how would that work? Would this be something through Center for Dispute Settlement, or how would, it would it, work? It's something that we're going to look at the best practices around the country. When, when we looked at it before, there were some weaknesses that we saw in it. Um, but that would be a contractual uh, RFP that people would respond to. So it wouldn't necessarily just be the Center for Dispute Settlement. It could be any organization that responds to the RFP when we put it out. 
But it would be basically civilian investigators with subpoena power. That's that's correct. Yeah. And that's and, and when we tried to, I will say this: we looked at this years ago. We didn't have the votes for it. We believe that we can get those votes for it now. Did it ever, when you looked at it years ago? I'm sorry, I like to write that knowledge about it. Did it actually come to a vote, or you just you didn't have the votes? We didn't have the votes. You didn't put it. That's right. 